Let's continue with the expressions demonstration. Recall the last program that we wrote uh, had a limitation with the integer data type. Uh, you can recall that we had two numbers, 10 and 3, and we did 10 divided by 3 and stored that value as our quotient. And when we printed it out, it gave us a whole number 3 instead of 3.3, .3, which we would have expected. So again, we'll just recompile our program. and execute it and you can see recall that the quotient is 3 so what we want to do is let's go ahead and save this as expressions 2 and what we'll do is we'll show you how to represent a decimal number in the C programming language so recall that integer in our case on this operating system and compiler was a 32-bit number and it only represents whole numbers. So we'll, we'll demonstrate that there's another data type called float in the C programming language, which we can use for floating point numbers and can actually represent decimal values. So when we print it out, we'll change the percent %d to a percent %f, since quotient is now a float. And we'll represent what happens whenever we divide an integer 10 by an integer 3 and try to represent it in floating point numbers. So let's save our new program and go back to our terminal window. And you can see now that we have a decimal value. However, we didn't get the the precision which we expected from dividing 10 by 3. So to demonstrate what happens is num1 is an integer and num2 is also an integer. So whenever we divide those two numbers, uh, we get an integer result. So we get an integer putting in a floating point number, so it's still not going to give us the precision that we want. So in order to get the precision we want, these two numbers that we're using to do the calculation will also need to be floating point numbers. So we can change these data types to float and save it. Go back and compile. And now we have the required precision that we wanted. Now just keep in mind whenever you have an integer data type you can add two floats together and store that into a integer value but you're gonna lose your precision. So say for example this was 3.1 it would be 13.1 but whenever we add these two numbers we're gonna lose the decimal precision and it should just be 13 so let's save that and recompile it and run our program and you'll see that you can store floating points as integers and also you can use floating points to give you decimal precision thanks